Well, we look at the conflict perspective, and uh, continuing with this perspective, we see that uh, it incorporates uh, three central uh, kind of uh, ideas or three central kind of uh, assumptions. Number one, people have a number of basic interests, things they want and attempt to acquire. Interest means uh, uh, something which they are trying to acquire, trying to achieve, trying to own, trying to get. And uh, they uh, want to have that, and uh, that could be common kind of feature with uh, everybody in the, uh, in, in, in the society. So different groups might have different interests. Second, power is the core of uh, social relationships. So not only that uh, power is uh, uh, acquired, power is needed, now uh, in, in search of this power, people might uh, compete with each other, not only compete, but uh, this competition might lead to conflicting kind of situation. And in this perspective, conflict is uh, uh, on top of their consideration. So power, seeking of this power creates conflict in the society or conflict amongst the society, uh, amongst the members of the society. So this power is not only a scarce uh, commodity or scarce reality, but it is also unequally distributed in the society, and also it has a, a coercive kind of force. So it is unequally divided, but it is also coercive. Coercive means uh, we might get certain things done by others by force. So force is an important kind of thing. So the concern is with the distribution of those resources that give people more or less power. Distribution of those resources. Uh, these could be the economic resources, these could be the political resources. And that is how Marx started his uh, conflict theory with the respect to the haves and the have-nots. And those who have, they become more and more powerful than those who don't have those resources or the means of production. They have less and less power. And uh, those people who are in power, they try to exploit the powerless. And they are in a position to exploit because they, they have the power. So those who have the means uh, uh, with respect to getting that power or the resources, they inevitably get power over those who don't have. And this power is uh, more like coercive power. They can force others to comply with their demand because they are so powerful and the others might be dependent on them and therefore they don't have a choice but to submit to their, to the will of the powerful. Thirdly, values and ideas are seen as weapons used by different groups to advance their own ends rather than as means of defining a whole society's identity and goals. Uh, that's again uh, quite different from the functionalists. They were talking about the value consensus in the society which governs the behavior of the people. But here, so values are uh, looked at from a different perspective. Ideas are diff looked at from different perspective. Ideas, maybe the ideologies which the groups might be following. So ideas represent the, uh, represent the group interests, uh, not for the whole society, but for a certain segment of the society which uh, is either powerful or uh, not power powerful or powerless or more powerful or uh, let's say less powerful. So ideas represent group interests, especially under the categories of ideology and that ideology 
uh, is used for making legitimacy uh, for the uh, who upholding uh, of that power or not only upholding but the use of that power as well. So we see that uh, the conflict is there and it, uh, in, in this school of thought that conflict continues. Now, can this conflict be eradicated? Well, here social scientists uh, might be divided. Well, some of the social scientists might be looking at uh, simply the analysis of the uh, society. Uh, analysis of the society more in a dispassionate kind of manner, in an objective kind of manner, and that's where the whole thing ends. The uh, others uh, might think that there is some kind of moral obligations on the part of the social scientists where they should bring in uh, some kind of uh, subjective uh, judgments with, res with respect to something what is desirable and what is desirable. So that is where some kind of uh, differences come with respect to the analysis of the societies uh, from the uh, angle of the social scientists whether uh, they should finish it over here or they should come up with uh, some suggestions on the basis of the analysis for resolving the situation.